Hi, I'm Stephen and welcome to today's video where I follow a viewer suggestion and try and clean an end-of-life ash clogged diesel particulate filter by heating it with a propane gas torch. This is the type of torch used to stick on bitumen roofing material. I made this video to help you to not ruin your filter in the same way. So let's get on some safety gear because if you're gonna do something really stupid, then at least have some protection. I should mention that when it comes to any kind of diesel particulate filter cleaning, the first thing you need to do is to look at the exhaust side of this ceramic material. If the filter is working correctly, then it should be white or a light gray color and have no cracking anywhere, like this filter. If on the other hand, you shine a light into the exhaust end or feed in an endoscope camera and everything is covered in black soot, then you will probably find some cracking too. And it means that your filter is dead. So there is no point doing any kind of cleaning when that has happened. It is time to buy a new filter. This filter today, however, is in excellent working condition except that it has filled up with ash over the last 15 years. Ash comes from the compounds in your engine oil and diesel fuel that don't burn away completely and end up getting stuck in the filter over time. There are some good ways to clean your filter of ash. You could take it to a specialist company for cleaning, or if you're okay with DIY, then you could do a two-stage chemical clean, like I do in another one of my videos. The one cleaning method that you definitely don't want to do is the one that I'm showing you right here today. Seriously, don't be tempted. It really is a bad idea in every possible way. I tried to be all scientific and weigh the filter before and after the heating so that we can see how much soot and ash we have burnt away, but I'll explain later why that is also one of today's many mistakes and doesn't really give us a good idea of anything much. Later I will also cut open the filter so that we can physically see if the ash is gone. I used some wire and hung the filter up from the roof of the carport, way too close to the plastic roof in fact. I don't really know what I was thinking. Some days it just seems that one stupid thing leads straight on to another. I've got here a brand new infrared thermometer that goes up to 1100 degrees Celsius, which is a little over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit, which should let us know how effective the gas torch is at raising the temperature of the ceramic material. When your car does an active regeneration of that diesel particulate filter, it raises the temperature to 600 degrees, 600 degrees Celsius, in order to burn off the soot. Burning off ash, however, if it's even possible, is going to require a much higher temperature. Anyway, let's blast this thing. After 15 minutes of blasting, my bad filter placement finally catches up with me. The heat rising from the gas torch has deformed and slightly burnt the clear plastic roof of the carport. Not very smart. Now here's a suggestion. How about we hang this filter a lot lower down? And back to cooking with gas. <laughs> At the 22 minute mark, the temperature is showing 758 degrees Celsius, which is 1,396 degrees Fahrenheit. At the 28 minute mark, we have a temperature of 798 degrees Celsius, or 1,468 degrees Fahrenheit. At the 30 minute mark, we have a temperature of 863 degrees Celsius, or 1584 degrees Fahrenheit. And at the 31 minute mark, we have a temperature of 916 degrees Celsius, or 1680 degrees Fahrenheit. This filter's really got some heat in it now. So at the 35 minute mark, we'll stop this exercise. The front of the filter looks clean, but to really check for ash deposits inside the channels, we're going to have to open this filter up. After 10 minutes of cooling, let's blow out any residue for a further 10 minutes. Not a very nice job to do. 
Let's get it back on the scales. And the weight is exactly the same as when we started. Either we didn't remove even one ounce of soot or ash, or it could be that some material has been removed, but that it has been offset by the ceramic material absorbing moisture from the combustion of propane and oxygen. I'm not entirely sure how likely that is, so if there are any industrial chemists out there, then please drop a comment below. And now to see if we managed to remove the ash from this diesel particulate filter. Let's open it up. The moment of truth, and the extreme heating has managed to break apart the ceramic material. So this is a complete disaster. And if we break off a piece of the ceramic, we can see that all of the heating did absolutely nothing to remove the long-term ash deposits. So no success there either. I have thought of one case where this method might do something useful, but I'm certainly not offering any guarantees. That one case is where you have a severely soot-blocked filter, and I mean so blocked up that the car has stopped running. And in that case, you could use the gas torch as a kind of off-car regeneration process to slowly burn off the soot. But you'd have to do it very carefully and keep checking with the infrared thermometer to make sure you're not gonna do much over 600 degrees Celsius or 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit. But for reviving an end-of-life ash-clogged filter, the process featured in today's video is ineffective, will kill your filter, and possibly set your house on fire. To safely clean the ash from your diesel particulate filter, I would recommend my favourite cleaning method, and that is the two-stage chemical cleaning process featured in the video right here. I look forward to seeing you next time.